It is the 18th of the 7th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Uh, Japan is reporting a heat wave at the moment, and that's about to change because uh, Typhoon Mayon is um, on its way, of course. Um, channel Mr. Hurricane Tracker, he's uh, done a pretty good job of covering this, and uh, I will leave the, that in his uh, capable hands. I'm definitely on track to Japan and all those things that that entails. We're going to start on EarthChangesScott.net tonight. Uh, i got a bunch to go through, so bear with me. Uh, Minnesota heavy rains flood neighborhoods and metro roads. Heavy rains flooded metro neighborhoods and roads, including a half-mile stretch of Interstate 35 West near Interstate 694. Uh, they closed the section of a well-traveled freeway in the early morning after the, the ponds were overflowing and they didn't have anywhere else to go really, so the flooding continues in the upper Midwest of the United States. Uh, definitely interesting story. Most of the Netherlands left without radio after two large radio towers catch fire and collapse in the space of two days. Now here's the kicker of it. Now the two towers going down in space of two days have obviously got people in the Netherlands wondering who done it. Far from it being a conspiracy of terrorists or anyone else, we'd rather suspect we'd we rather suspect that a buildup of electrical energy is the culprit. Uh, Rhinex noted the surge in the exploding transformers earlier this summer in the in the Netherlands, so this could be a, a fire due to an energy surge in their system. As crazy as that sounds. Uh, Tennessee sinkhole beside a Spring Hills new high school stir speculation. Um, yeah, they're scurrying to finish this $40 million high school, and there's a 14 foot deep hole discovered earlier this week. <laughs> and they're saying it's probably uh, due to uh, shoddy construction and rain runoff. We've got a story on urban solar phenomenon in New York City's U.S. Just what is Manhattan Henge? And uh, they're running around taking pictures of sunsets in New York because it's lining up just down certain streets. And uh, it's a really big money for some photographers in the New York area. And some really good shots, though. Heat wave in the central U.S. shows no signs of ending. I can attest to that. We have some several bad heat indexes right here. Uh, where's the meat of it? Uh, the trend is not our friend right now, says uh, Daryl Williams, a forecaster in Norman. The Oklahoma City forecaster expect another day of 100 degree heat Sunday, which would be the 27th day this year. The city has reached 100 or above. And uh, we are expected through Thursday night here in Des Moines, they're calling for heat advisories up until like 9 p.m. Thursday night local time. Uh, there's a little late story for them. Tropical storm could form near northern Bahamas. It has, it has formed. Brett is here. Uh, tropical depression formed in the Atlantic near the northwestern Bahamas on Sunday and forecasters in the U.S. National Hurricane Center. It could strengthen to tropical storm Brett by Monday. Uh, it's official tropical storm Brett right now as uh, the Weather Channel's reporting. Fire rages in Jerusalem forest spreading towards an oil refinery. Firefighters are battling a large fire that broke out Sunday in the Jerusalem forest and uh, Mount Herzl area in the west of the city. The fire approaching the Harnoff. Um, I'm going to kill these names. Um, and they're heading for the Pi Galliot Oil Refinery. And um, they're evacuating people. California, 3.3 magnitude earthquake uh, wakes Berkeley up with a jolt. U.S. heat wave bakes Midwest threatens to move east. And this will likely be the most significant heat wave in the region that has experienced at least in the last five years. Uh, National Weather Service 
posted excessive heat warnings for much of the nation's midsection, including Illinois, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, Kansas, Nebraska, and Oklahoma, as well as uh, South and North Dakota, where forecasters predicted heat index could hit 115 degrees Fahrenheit. And we are definitely cooking here in Iowa. Um, one dead, 150,000 affected in Northeast India flooding. Uh, heavy monsoon rains have led the, the mighty Brahmapultra River to overflow its banks and submerge scores of villages in India's remote northeastern state of Assam. Uh, the district magistrate says more than 150 people have been hit by floods in the three districts. And Sunday, one person died after he was swept away by the strong current when he jumped in the river to rescue his cattle. We've got to remember how sacred these cows are to these people. The relief agencies are distributing rice, lentils, and salt to tens of thousands of people in temporary shelters set up in schools, offices, and other government buildings. India's Mount Lokan volcano spews ash in biggest eruption yet. I know this volcano's been going off for uh, about a week now, maybe a little longer, and uh, it's definitely had the biggest boom yet. There's some great video and photos out of that. Um, Idaho lightning sparks off wildfires across the valley. Uh, firefighters say lightning was likely responsible for three grass fires early Sunday morning in the Boise area. Crews responded to a fire off Highway 55 by the Shadow Valley Golf Course, a small grass fire near Broadway, and Myrtle in a large fire near Gowan and, and Orchard. And with this heat, uh, it's just outstanding. Firefighters battled 26 wildfires in Russia's Far East, over to the Extinction Protocol. Landslides in Nepal leave 16 dead. They're in their monsoon reason. Uh, I think they had a, a, about a 14 inches of rain. China, Be Beijing, uh, state and media says heavy rains in northwestern China have killed at least 13 people and injured six. Balkan heat wave death toll continues to mount. Thousands urged to stay indoors. This is in Belgrade. Uh, the heat in the Balkan region has caused 21 deaths so far, 11 deaths have occurred in Croatia and 10 in Serbia, and additional hundreds of tourists sought medical attention over the weekend. And they're under the heat too. Uh, they've got an economy piece, U.S. government may, fa may face asset fire sale if debt ceiling isn't raised. Um, so they're going to sell everything tied down, um, just like they did in Greece and they're doing in Europe to uh, save our debt ceiling. 5.6 magnitude earthquake rattles Lake Bakal in Russia. Now this is the oldest lake. Today's 5.6 magnitude earthquake is the world's oldest and deepest lake. Highlights a history of past geological upheaval that may be uh, inching closer to another event. There is a volcanic fault rift under the lake that has produced an increasing number of earthquakes over the years. And then they go through the history of, of how this is on, on a fault line and, and it, where, when was it back in uh, 1861 and 1862 it went through this phase where it actually had like, they're guessing up to an 11 magnitude earthquake. It literally ripped open a new bay in this, in this lake. Um, so they're thinking that this area might be becoming very, very active. And they've got the Indonesia's Mount Logan volcano erupts, becomes more violent, of course. And the Jerusalem fire. That is about all I have climate change-wise for you tonight. Um, definitely uh, enjoy while you can. And until I see you next time, thanks.